Welcome to Capoeira with Soketch. In this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at one of the Awu variations. It's commonly known as Awu du French or Awu Heversant. Now the first thing to consider is that Awu du French is a hybrid movement, meaning that it's half Awu or cartwheel and half front walkover or Heversant. So let's look at these two skills individually to see how we can take the best of both worlds and create a Capoeira movement that is both beautiful and practical. When doing an awu, the fingers are pointing away from the opponent or to the back and they travel in a parallel line that has length but no width. The eyes can keep a clear line of sight at your opponent in order to see what's coming at you. When doing a full walkover or heversant, the fingers face forward, pointing in the direction that you're headed. They have the width but little to no length. The unfortunate side effect is that you lose sight of your opponent as your hips pass above your shoulders. The Heversol and the Awu du French both require significant activation of the posterior chain muscles to help us come out of the movement. Strengthening exercises like the front rocks that we did in the handstand tutorials are an awesome way to activate and strengthen the posterior chains for these movements. So take some time and check out that video too. For an Awu du French to be both beautiful and practical, it will need to have the length of the Awu in order to see your opponent and also the width of the Heversol to make sure that your hips pass above your shoulders. We'll also need the first hand to be in the Heversal position and the second hand to be in the Awu position. So first hand pointing in the direction you're headed and second hand pointing across you. Now while our most beautiful version of Awu du French is actually 20% cartwheel and 80% walkover, in the early stages it is best to start at the other end of the ratio, making the practice version of the technique 80% cartwheel and 20% walkover. As we progress in our practice, the ratios will shift 60-40, 50-50, 30-70 until it is 20% cartwheel, 80% walkover. So be patient with your practice and trust in the process. As a visual assist and a way to keep yourself accountable, set yourself up across on the floor like I have here. Really work to make sure your hands are in opposite corners as you position your hands. Really work to keep the width between your hands. Narrow hand positions is one of the most common inhibitors to progression. Hand position is just the first part of the equation. Another hugely important thing to do is make sure that we have our chest and our hips facing in the direction that we're moving before we land our second foot. In the early stages, the first foot will land in the awu position and needs to pivot on the ball of the foot as the body turns forward before landing the second foot. But in time and with practice, it will turn more to the side and eventually start landing forward. Another point to play with in these early days is that once that first hand leaves the floor, reach your hand up really high, raise it to the sky as you turn your head, your chest and your hips to the front before you land that second foot. It just gets you around a little bit more and helps you bring your shoulders to the front. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please take a minute to like and subscribe, share it with a friend, and if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them down below. Thanks for watching.